United is gearing up for spring break. We are expecting some. for long lines, expect for it to be a little bit tougher to find a parking space. So you're definitely going to want to make sure to plan ahead. Well, a lot of the country isn't as lucky as we are here with the warm weather. Uh, is that one of the biggest draws to Las Vegas for spring break? Yeah, I think so. People are eager to get out. They're looking for a little bit of sun, looking for a little bit of fun. And I think a destination like Vegas is something that candidly a lot of people didn't get the opportunity to enjoy the last couple of years, you know, with social distancing and all the pandemic protocols, definitely people were looking to take vacations that were more around social distancing, being individual, being outside. Whereas, you know, a place like Vegas and the crowds and the shows, I think people are really excited just to get back out there and experience all of the things that Vegas has to offer. There are also a lot of travelers looking to escape Las Vegas for some new sites. Uh, where do you see those travelers going to from Las Vegas? Yeah, from Las Vegas, we're seeing a lot of people looking to get a little bit of that uh, sunshine, but a little bit of water next to it. So looking for a lot of those beach destinations, places in Florida have been very popular. Uh, also seeing a little bit of interest in mountain destinations. So people looking to take advantage of those last few weeks of ski season, going up to Colorado, to Wyoming, out to California, just to take advantage of a little bit of fresh powder. Um, also, we actually did a consumer survey and found that more than 70% of travelers surveyed found that they were thinking about going somewhere they've never been before this year. And a little more than 30% had considered taking an extra splurge to really go above and beyond on a trip this year. So I think some people might be even thinking about charting out and trying someplace that they've never experienced and trying something totally different. You mentioned the pandemic. There, there's been a pretty long period here where a whole new customer base has come into a uh, the airlines, but haven't had the opportunity to fly. Uh, what would you recommend to people who are going to the airport for the first time ever? Well, if you're going to the airport for the first time ever, um, I think, again, making sure you're planning ahead is really key. So you're going to want to get to the airport at least two hours in advance for a domestic flight, three for something that's international, just to make sure that you have all the time you need to check your bags, to go through security, to find your gate, to maybe grab a bite to eat, just to get settled in and comfortable. Um, we're also recommending to make sure that customers download the United app before you go. There are so many things that you can do in advance before you even get to the airport to save time. So you can check your bag in advance. You can um, see any sort of COVID restrictions or protocols that might still be in place that you have to abide by or follow. And we'll have all the information for you right at your fingertips to make sure to get you prepared. Okay, you mentioned that United is flying more than 3,800 flights per day on average during the spring break period. Um, how does that rate compare to before the pandemic? We're, I'd say from a flights perspective, we are just shy of where we were in 2019, uh, but we're pretty close. I think from a traveler's perspective, it's not going to really look much different to you than those crowds that at spring break in 2019. So, you know, while we're still a little bit behind where we were uh, before the pandemic, uh, demand is coming back. People are eager to travel. Business travel is coming back. So we're just really excited to see people traveling again. And I know that our um, frontline employees are eager to welcome everyone back on board.